Wow, the response to episode one. Thank you so much, guys. I cannot wait to play against Man City in just a few moments and truly experience FC24 for the first time with this Arsenal squad. Now, what I should say, though, is just after this video, I should be going live to watch the Arsenal game, our first Champions League game in seven seasons. Absolutely crazy. So if you want to watch the game live with me, make sure you check your sub boxes, subscribe, turn on notifications, check out the channel. I've got a live playlist where all of my live watch-alongs go. And maybe it's the first time you'll be tuning in. We watch the game, we laugh, we make jokes, we hopefully witness Arsenal destroy PSV tonight. Um, but yes, I'd really appreciate it if you would watch. And now we are going to get into... Episode two of the Arsenal career mode. So in the first episode, we went through the team. We spent a lot of time doing development plans and looking at um, how we're going to play and hiring coaches and things like that. And yes, there wasn't much gameplay. I literally got the code, installed it, recorded and got it up as soon as I could so you guys could have a really early video. Otherwise, it probably would have been today. So episode two is truly where it starts. We will be kicking off against Man City in the Community Shield, which we won in real life and I'm going to win. This is the team I've come up with so far. What do you guys think? I've, I've seen quite a few comments, people saying that Partey should absolutely be in the team and maybe that Rice should play where Havertz is and then put Partey as the number six. But I'm going to give this a go. One of my favourite comments, oh, it made me laugh so much. Having two cams and watching MGH defend is going to be box office. And I thought that is so true. I've got one DM. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. Also in today's episode, we're going to try and take a look at some potential signings for January and beyond from next season as well. Um, and also, we do need to check in on the coaching situation because as far as I know, it's going to refresh every week, every fortnight. I don't know which one it is going to be yet. And we do need to hire more coaches to improve our development speed, basically. So we will definitely get into that. But it is time for match day. The Community Shield at Wembley. Man City used the Gagan press as well. So we're going to do the pre-match report here. And we are looking at three very important players. But apparently, Haaland isn't one of the most important players. Okay. Walker being the key defensive player, he is unreal. It's going to be difficult for Martinelli today. And then, of course, Bernardo Silva, Foden, two very technically gifted left-footed players. Look at their stats. 91 attack, 87 midfield, 85 defence. Woo! That's um, that's a lot. But De Bruyne playing in DM, Rodrigo at Cam. Hmm. <laughs> I hope that's not actually going to happen. It feels like for years we've had this exact issue where players are being played out of position. Also, quick update on the training. I mentioned it in episode one. I'm not going to be doing it every single game. But every now and again, I definitely will, especially if it's a key game. And I think this is a key game. This is a opportunity for silverware. So what I'm going to do is I want my defense to be a little bit better. So we're going to go into defending here and I'm going to get, ooh, should I get both Gabriel and Saliba a temporary play style? Yeah, because look, Saliba's already got those play styles. When they're grayed out, it means you're not going to gain anything. This is quite a good one as well. Ben White would get intercept. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with this one, though. It's a heavy drill, which means better, right? <laughs> better stats upgrades. Right, let's see if we can get some tackles in. Wow, that was really difficult. Well done, Gabriel, with your big shiny forehead. Oh, God. Jesus is quick. It's Gabriel versus Gabriel, and that kind of went out of play, mate. I haven't had a chance to defend with Saliba yet. Get stuck in. Five more attempts to go here. I'm so glad that training this year is a little bit different. You don't have to do the midweek training constantly. And when you start a new career mode, you don't have to go ahead and do all of them and get an A or a B just to make sure that you're solid for the rest of the, the career mode. Now it's just optional and you do it before the game. The rest of the training is handled for you pretty much with the, uh, the you know, when I was able to put it on balance or focused on match sharpness. That is the new training, effectively. But we're into the last one here. Oh, oh, close. So what determines a fail here? Not earned. Seriously, 
I missed out by 100 points. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do that again and get it this time. Right, that should be it. There we go. 7,500. Honestly, that's quite tricky. I, I missed again one or two of them. And it was still relatively close. That's probably a good thing, actually. It should be a little bit of a challenge, you know, every now and again playing this game. But here we go. Our first press conference, of course, with Mikel Arteta. It's not MGH. I'm answering for Mikel. Look how shiny he looks with the perfect hair. So what are we expecting against Man City? Um, I just want a good performance. I mean, we're not expected to win, really, are we? We want to get into the habit of winning. Yes, this is a big season. I've pretty much got to be going for the treble <laughs> because of my objectives. Um, the deadline day is not going to be a thing, mate. The transfer window is shut. We are not going to be making any signings. So I'm going to say I think we're in good shape. Um, we, we're purposefully... Oh, I got an achievement. I'm not going to be doing any signings until January. I didn't want to change the squad. I'm going to play with what I've been given. But there we go. Morale, very happy. That is all done. Match preparation, three out of three. And now, do I play Havertz in there? I'm, I'm a little bit cautious because it's Man City. They're going to dominate me in midfield, aren't they? I, th I think I should do the safe thing here. I am going to put Partey in there. And I wonder if it's, ooh, minus seven. But he's still got... He's still got crazy stats. Look at that. Plus 10. Is it really affecting him that much? I think it's just a visual thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do just for this game here, I'm just going to kind of tuck them around a little bit. Um, can I even get him into a DM role? I don't think I can, but we can get him. Oh, it's minus what? Oh, I should have just left it. <laughs> Wait, can I just revert it? I can't. Right, that's what we're going to do. Rice is slightly deeper. Partey's deepest. And Erdegaard's going to be floating in front. Otherwise, I'm really happy with that lineup. Um, should I change to the home kit? I think we should, right? Even though I'm wearing the away kit here and I didn't like it at first, but now I'm kind of, I'm into it. Oh, they haven't got the third kit. Come on, EA. You've had so long. That's rubbish. I hope they add that. Unfortunately, it won't be in my save, but... Let's get into the first game. Now, one thing I want to watch out for is apparently you can't see the lineups. You don't get the walking onto the pitch, the handshakes. I'm hearing that's gone, but I don't know for myself. So let's see what happens here. This cutscene's from the last game. We're outside Wembley. Okay, we're seeing the fake preview. <laughs> the game's already been played, apparently. Oh, and look at that top left finish. Never seen that before. So are we going to get any different cutscenes this time? No. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about that. We didn't get the players walking out on the pitch. Nothing. I guess it's an attempt to speed up the process of getting into a game. But it's career mode. Like if you're worried about time, just skip. <laughs> you should still put the cutscenes in. I really hope that's just a patch that needs to be added in. Anyway, let's get across in here. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus was right there. So in terms of difficulty, I'm on legendary and sliders are all on 50. Everything is default legendary and I'm already... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Haaland didn't fancy shooting. But um, what I'm trying to say is I have no idea what difficulty to be on. We're just going to give it a go. I think legendary is going to be right. It's just a case of tuning sliders to make sure... It's not too easy. So far, I mean, I haven't been able to do anything. Is it going to be another cross? No. Look at that. Saka. Oh, deflected it in. It's an own goal, potentially, but we have scored at Wembley. And it is Starboy Saka that scores the first goal of this new career mode on FC24. Starboy Saka. Lil Chili. Great pass inside. That's a very Arsenal goal. I'm not sure how Edison hasn't reached that, though. And it's deflected off Ruben Diaz. I think it was probably on target. So I think this is going to go down as a Saka goal. No, it's not. It's an own goal. A little bit of a shame. Our first goal of this career mode is an own goal. But it's a massive one against Man City, honestly. Let's go. Jack Grealish running at Saliba here. Oh, what a tackle from the Frenchman. 
You're going to be seeing a lot of that this season. Now Erdegaard's pushing forwards. He's got De Bruyne on his tail. Oh my God. I'm just going to go for it. Ooh. Um, okay, so I can already tell they're not closing me down enough. So that's something we're probably going to have to tweak how close they mark. Um, yeah, typically over the last few FIFAs going into FC, I've had to... Oh, that's a heavy touch. Oh, Rice, get in there. I've always had to just adjust things very slightly to make it a little bit more difficult. And you saw in the Luton career mode as well, it was way too easy at the start. I needed to use sliders to uh, make things a little bit more difficult. But honestly, so far, it feels pretty good. I'm just not getting closed down enough. So we'll, we'll look into it for sure. We've just won that in a great area. Jesus in space. Good first touch. Can you get through? Oh, hang on. We've got a run from Saka, maybe. Go inside to Erdegaard instead. Over to Declan Rice. No, Erdegaard would not get that pass wrong. What a silly, unrealistic game. And now Haaland against Saliba. Slide. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, we're okay. Declan Rice is just the heart of everything. Even in that left centre mid position. Go on back post. Jesus. Was he offside? I don't think he was. Oh, my God. What an opportunity to double the lead. Wow. I cannot believe that. He has to get that on target, surely. Five minutes to go now. And it seems City are going to get the last chance of the first half. Oh, no. 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 That's too easy. Ah, oh, I was hoping I'd keep a clean sheet today. At least stop Haaland scoring. But there he is. I think we all knew this would happen. <laughs> Haaland was almost guaranteed to score. But I've committed to a challenge there with Zinchenko. And I, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, we will be going into the halftime break one all. It is what it is. One thing I'll say, though, De Bruyne is at Cam. So I think it was uh, a visual bug when it said Rod Rodri would be playing there. He's not. He's definitely playing DM. Um, good first half here at Wembley. I'm enjoying it. The game feels really smooth, really good. I'm playing on PC, by the way, which is always nice. And uh, we'll go into the second half and hopefully we will win the game. This is so cool. I love this. At half time, you get to see around the stadium, inside the changing rooms. You've got some interviews going on. Where's Alex Scott? <laughs> right, I'm not going to make any changes. There's no need. I will be bringing on Havertz at some point. I think Trossard as well, potentially, and Ketia. Got a few players in mind. But uh, until the 60th minute or so, we're just going to keep going here. Oh, no, that's not good. Grealish in behind, maybe. Oh, White's too slow. Oh, no. White has been criminally underrated in this year's game. What is that? Vardial, wow. Saliba says no. <laughs> oh, go on, Jesus. He's got the pace on stones. Can he finish it? Oh, my God, I just got pushed. A little shove in the back there. Okay, first corner? I think it is. Okay, inside foot curled. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be too close to Edison. Okay, that did feel a little bit different from what I've played before. I need to aim it a little bit further out. Gorn Zinchenko win that. Nice. Martinelli. Into Jesus again. Into Erdegaard maybe. Oh, and Stones. Got in the way. Oh, look at us closing down though. Of course City play out though. It's what they do best. Wait, we're 62 minutes. It's 63 minutes in already. It's going so quickly. I will make a change after this attack. Here is Zinchenko. To Declan Rice. You know what time it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Left that a little bit too late. Let's go ahead and make some changes now. I'm going to put Rice in the middle. And I'm going to move Partey into a cam roll and put Havertz in there. This is a big risk. This is a huge risk. I can't believe I'm doing this. At right back, I'm going to throw in Timber. I miss him. I miss him so much. He made such a good start, didn't he? And I'm also going to put Trossard on the left. So not changing too much. Let's just focus on defending here. Haaland's taking his sweet time. He took too much time, but he's got so lucky. Oh, no. Foden's through. Oh, no. Oh, 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 guys. I made the tackle. And Haaland somehow kept it. It was magnetised to him. 
Foden so unselfish, and I mean, De Bruyne was always going to score there. Okay, big, big end to the game here, guys. Change is coming on. Can we rescue this? Timber now into Saka, straight into Erdegaard. No, not Jesus. I wanted Erdegaard there. Oh, now it's gone to nothing. Get a tackle in. Oh, no. I'm getting hit on the break every time. City don't really play like that. They're playing Gagan press though, so it kind of makes sense. I need to be really careful here not to concede again. Good tackle. We've got probably 15 minutes. This is good. Havertz now. Through for Jesus. Saka's going to get in the box. Do I just go solo? No, nope, we pass it inside. Erdegaard into Trossard. Oh my god, the tackle from Walker was so quick. And just like that, guys, we are not going to be winning our first trophy. Haaland scores again. He celebrates in front of the Arsenal fans. <laughs> oh, you evil, evil man. So frustrating. I had that chance with Trossard just moments before. They've come down the other side of the pitch. Look at Foden. Oh, my God. He just embarrassed me. Well, like I said, game over. There's no chance now. I couldn't match what Arteta did in real life, unfortunately. Even though we scored first... With a bit of a lucky deflected own goal. You could argue we've lost this 3-0. I haven't had any other really massive chances. Maybe we'll get something now. Erdegaard. That says it all, really, doesn't it? It comes crashing off the post. Not another one. Not another one. You are kidding me. Oh, my God. <laughs> the referee blew his whistle as they scored. <laughs> Okay, well, um, do we have to watch them lift the trophy? I'd rather not, um, but I think I'm going to be respectful. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. We, we can watch this. I want to see the, um, the cinematic anyway. Has it changed in any way whatsoever? What a great view that is of someone's ginger do. Uh, De Bruyne was sublime, Haaland unplayable, Foden ridiculous, and ultimately Man City deserved to win the Community Shield. We go again. We will win this one at some point. I mean, we're going to have to be involved in this again at some point because we're either going to win the Premier League, win the FA Cup. It has to be done. And here we've got some more cut scenes. This time it's post-match in the changing room. It's so cool. It really is. Let's have a look at some match facts. Anything different? Looks exactly the same. Look at my dribble success rate. Okay, passing was pretty good. Um, I mean, I, I, I didn't dominate, but I didn't get dominated. Not enough shots, really. But then again, City just had three shots on target and scored three goals. Raya in goal next time. <laughs> okay, right. First match done. First loss achieved. Good news, Smith Rowe is now ready to be converted to a cam. And then we're going to go ahead and do Dynamo, I think. Although it's not... Mm, no, I need to do a shooting. Let's go with Shadow Striker. Nice. And I think that's the only one left that we need to do. We've got some chats here. So I've put a few players up for sale. Cedric is one of them. Um, Foran and Walters. Whilst I'd love Walters to stay, I just don't think I'm ever going to get him into the team. So I'm just going to sell players. I'm going to be brutal, guys. It's career mode. If you've got a bunch of 50 to 60 rated players at Arsenal, yeah, it's not really going to work, is it? So required quality updated. The team has changed slightly and therefore the ideal rating has changed as well. Goalkeeping ideal nine stars. Oh, we can easily do that. Although... OK, what I will say is I was playing around with this in a different career mode to test it. Don't release a coach. It, it crashes the game for me, at least on PC. So be careful with that. Uh, I just need to get a four star goalkeeping coach then. So let's do that. Seven thousand. Why can't I? Oh, is my mouse in the middle of the screen? Yeah, there we go. Um, all right. We'll get Olivia Holmes. She seems like the most accomplished goalkeeper coach for us and that will mean we have the ideal star rating so this is something i tweeted out earlier today please follow me on twitter by the way um 
what I noticed is every single coach has now converted to Gagan pressing. I, I, I don't really understand why, because I definitely didn't buy them as Gagan pressing coaches. So it's a little bit of a strange one, that. I'm going to go ahead and sort out defense as well. Let's get another good rated defending coach in. Um, so look, Theodore Lambert, right? If I hire him, is he going to become Gagan Press? Yeah, he did. Oh, it's so strange. I don't really understand it. Why is that happening? And let's get one more in midfield and attack. I don't want to get too many straights away. I feel like it would kind of ruin it, and that, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Uh, I don't need to, be, need to be paying for a really, really, really good cut, although Albie West is already Gagan Press. What if it's just a visual bug, and they aren't actually Gagan Press? So this would be a good idea just in case. It's only a little bit more money. So that's plus four, we're up to ten, and then we'll get a really good striking coach as well. Oh, David Hargreaves, hello. Very nice. He's quite cheap as well. And he's Gagan Press as well. Look at that. Okay, well, we're 10, 10, 9, 9. For now, I'm quite happy with that, all right? And that does speed things up a lot. So, for example, Martinelli, it would have been 23 weeks. It's now 14 weeks for him to upgrade. On a player as important as him, that is unbelievable. Uh, in terms of training plan, we do need to make sure we check on this because I remember in the alpha and the beta that I played... It was genuinely difficult to balance this out. So most of the players in the starting team will have a lack of fitness. So do I do it lazily and go all out energy or energy focused maybe and then just apply to everyone? <laughs> and then before the next game, change it, you know, just keep coming in and changing it. And by the way, the... Um, the logo and the text is a bit bugged, isn't it? It's trying to say it's six days until my next game. I don't know why it's showing the, the, the code there. Right, we'll go into that Nottingham Forest game right now. Um, let the training plan do its work. If you keep shifting train, I'm not. I'm not shifting training plans. Leave me alone. So we've got Flores, transfer offer, which we're going to go ahead and accept. He's a player that left. I don't think he'll go, though. He's on 10 grand a week, so that'll probably fall through. And, ooh. Okay. Alibiusu. So this is one of my young players that I'm not too bothered about. But this is interesting. He has reached peak fitness. Put him on a balanced plan. So, out of interest, does that mean most of the players are now near that as well? Yeah, they are. So it's just like a little warning, really, isn't it? Let's go balanced. Apply for all players. It's quite lazy doing that, but clearly it's working right now. Another transfer offer for Flores, 1.5 million again. Okay, that's nice. It's a nice bit of extra money, but it looks like we're going to get into the Nottingham Forest game now. Transfer offer for Foreign as well, which we'll go ahead and accept. St. Mirren, maybe he'll get that move. Problem is, is the wages are so high. Here we go, though. Nottingham Forest up next. I will go ahead and do... Pre-match report and press conference. I won't show you because obviously it's not that exciting. They play counter-attacking football. There you go. Whoa. Okay. Drone footage. I just flew through someone's head. <laughs> right. First game at the Emirates. North London forever. Can we hear it? Okay. Well, at least we're getting some more cutscenes this time. North London forever. Come on. Where is it? I should be hearing it. This drone footage is wicked, though. I'm sure it's coming, right? No, okay. Not today. <laughs> Let's get into the first Premier League game of the season. The Premier League of which we have to win. We are going to be challenged to win the title by the board. It's going to be an interesting one for sure. I've got Havertz starting today. I thought I'd go with the two cams because it's Nottingham Forest. We can probably deal with it. This is nice. Martinelli through. Just hit it. Oh, my God. It's gone in. How has Martinelli scored from there? Shocking goalkeeping. And we have scored our first Premier League goal after just 10 minutes. And it's Gabby Martinelli. I love this kid. I love him so much. Great play from Jesus. Why is the camera locked onto the ball, by the way? That is hideous. Can you see how janky that looks? This is much nicer. 
So I've gone near post. Oh, it's just shocking goalkeeping, let's be honest. That is embarrassing. By the way, I love this overlay. Look at it pop up in the top left. How nice is that? Oh, it's sick. Good interception there from Gabriel. He tried to run forward. And now Erdegaard's got loads of space. We could double our lead here. No, good save this time from the keeper. A little bit of a miscommunication with the defender flopping around, but that probably should have been 2-0, if we're being honest. Oh, we can get another chance here. Here is Martinelli again. Oh, I should have given it to Erdegaard. Oh, no, and now Woods held me off. Okay, I think, I think they're going to probably waste this. No, they're not. Saliba, oh, no. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Good tackle. Gabriel is a monster. I see you, Havertz. I see you. And now Declan Rice. Go on, just have a shot. Oh, my. Okay, so that was a driven shot. I've disabled the zooming in camera thing because it drives me mad. But it was a driven shot and it was close. I'm not sure why he stood still, though. Why didn't he just push the ball forward a little bit? I don't know. It was close. Very, very close. Nope, 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 nope. Still suck at defending. Still really bad at defending, guys. Can confirm. But it's okay. Arsenal don't keep clean sheets at the Emirates. It's fine. Okay, this is meant to be. <laughs> Look how bad that was. But it's a good finish, to be fair. I'm definitely feeling the effect of having two cams and one DM. It is, I think, a little bit too much. I just don't have enough defensively. But then again, when we do counter, look at this. We've got Havertz on the left. Jesus through the middle. Can I pick him out? Oh, yep. Yeah. And 2-1. Oh, my God. Why can't this keeper be rubbish the entire game? All right, corner. Just chip it in. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. All right. Gabriel, one of the top scoring defenders in the Premier League in recent history, slams one home with his big shiny forehead. Get in there. A much-needed second goal, and it's right before half-time as well. I think the referee's probably going to blow his whistle very shortly. There it is. Okay, we're going to go into the second half, and we're going to just blow them away now. Oh, Declan Rice, close. He's got a wicked shot on him. Why not have another go? Top right this time. Oh, my God. One of these shots is going to go in, and I'm going to wet myself. Thinking about making some subs soon. I want to bring on Enketia. I haven't used him yet. Here's Declan Rice, though. Over on the right side. Now we've got Ben White. He's pushing in. Oh, I've tried to cut it back, and Niakate saw it a mile away. Let's go ahead and make those changes now. Enketia on. Uh, Vieira on. Tomiyasu. Let's put Timber on the left as well. I want to give him a go. Oh, actually, I've got Tomiyasu, though. He is probably better on the left, isn't he? I typically hate playing right-footed defenders as left-backs and vice versa on the right side, but I'm going to give it a go because Mikel Arteta does it and I, I believe in him. <laughs> um, I don't need to make any other changes. That's absolutely fine. I've got to say, though, guys, I haven't been able to get Saka involved much in that City game or today. Doesn't seem to be getting in very good positions, but maybe that's going to change now. Just run through the middle. Oh, my God. Keep going. Near post. Oh, I, I, I jinxed it. <laughs> or the opposite of jinxed. Saka has just scored an absolute beauty. I wish he got that first goal in the first game. That's the only real opportunity I've made with him. But this is... Oh, this is sweet. What a goal. Bakayo Saka, he's going to be my star player. Just wait till he's 90 rated. And I might be able to, uh, to get him to score in the Champions League final. Something incredible like that. Okay, I'm in love with Declan Rice in real life as well. What a joke of a player. Erdegaard shoots. Oh, it's a good save. Just over 10 minutes to go here, guys. We're looking great, though. It's not going to be a problem. I know I conceded that stupid goal, but a two-goal lead. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Oh, look at that. Nketi is in. We have to find the pass to Erdegaard. Outside of the boo. Oh, absolutely beautiful from the captain. I said I'd build the team and, and, and Saka would be my star player. But honestly, how can I not say that about Erdegaard as well? He's the captain. He's the highest rated player in the squad. And he's an absolute genius. Look at this. Outside of the boot. Oof. 
tasty. Absolutely beautiful. Well and truly game over now. Oh, I'm going to concede so many of those though, aren't I? I really am. Hey, at least it's a six goal thriller for you guys. We don't need to watch that goal again. Just pretend it didn't happen, you know? Bit of a shame though. I'd like to get some really nice goal difference built up, but it is what it is when it's me defending. And that is going to be the end of the game, I think. Ref, hello. I don't want it to be 4-3. Can you blow the whistle? Thank you very much. Really enjoyed that though. The game feels good. But I am going to have to make some little subtle tweaks here and there, I think, with the uh, the sliders. Just to make it feel a little bit better. But uh, we win our first game of the season. We start the Premier League campaign with a massive three points. And that, guys, is the end of episode two. A massive thank you once again to everyone who's watched episode one and now episode two. And please do check out the live stream. I'm going live now. At least I should be going live now or in the next hour. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell and the watch along tonight, our first Champions League game. I'll be watching it live with you guys singing the anthem. The champion. Oh, I can't wait. I am so excited. It's like it's Christmas. So I'm going to get editing. Let's get this video up. Let's get the stream going. And I will see you in episode three tomorrow.